Good morning, Porchy. How you doing? Oh, Porch Puppy. Porchina. Porch Puppy. Porchy. How you doing this morning? Good morning, girl. We got the tire off the mower. We're going to have to inflate that, see if, see if we can get it popped back on. Got some stuff to get done. We got to build some fence and move some cows today. Ain't it, Porchy? All right, girl. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't like wearing the sunglasses on here either, but it's sunny, so I got to shield my poor little eyes from the sun. We don't, uh, I can see a little bit of smoke off to the east today. We're in the, we're in the midst of that, uh, those Canadian fires with the smoke coming down through New York City and all those places. Two days ago, it was pretty rough. We could see a lot of smoke hanging around. But uh, yesterday didn't seem to be too bad for us. Uh, my wife is down east of here, almost into Baltimore yesterday, and she said it was pretty bad there. And she sent me a picture this morning that showed it was pretty rough down there this morning. Now, the forecast for us tomorrow is that the smoke is going to be, um, our, 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 our air quality is going to be poor tomorrow. Um, I don't think, the forecast didn't show it so bad today but tomorrow showed it in the poor quality so we'll see how that is when we wake up in the morning i can see kind of a haze around me but where the sun's burning through um it's not it's not so thick but i can see around me i can see some smoke especially off to the east if i went on top of the hill probably and looked that way where i can see a greater distance i'd probably have a a better view of it so maybe i'll go go up there and see what we can see later but um We've got to move the cows today. Uh, Madison has taken care of all the other chores this morning. We have to move the cows to new pasture. Um, got to start those cribs that I'm way, way behind on. Going to try to get some pieces cut for one of them today. And just, uh, just enjoy this beautiful day. I, I, wondered, I wondered a couple days ago why my voice was getting kind of rough. And uh, I didn't realize it was because of the uh, smoke in the air. I didn't even know I, I didn't even know there were fires in Canada for a day or two. But my voice was really weak and hoarse, and um, I was trying to figure out what what what's going on with me. It's better today, but a couple of days ago it was pretty gravelly. So let's go get some work done today. I've been trying to purposefully learn to live slow all this year um and it's been difficult it's a difficult thing to for me to learn to live slow and but there's a difference i think between living slow and being lazy <laughs> uh i don't want to be lazy i want to be productive but i want to learn to appreciate that some things are going to take a little more time and get rid of some of that pressure that I feel all the time. I haven't changed my habits, you know, as far as that self-sabotaging thing that I talked to you earlier about. I'm still sabotaging myself, still, you know, lollygagging in the still lollygagging in the mornings uh, you know i gotta it's a discipline you just have to you have to say i'm gonna get up and i'm gonna do these things and i'm gonna get started it's not that i don't do anything it's just that i'm not productive i'm not well i'm not when i don't get started right away i feel miserable about myself you know i really take a lot of guilt on that and I don't like that I don't I don't want to feel guilty so I want to get up and move about my day and be productive that way without feeling guilty about it that's what happens that's what puts you in a bad mood you've already for me I've already sabotaged myself to not to this is fences off obviously uh, I've already sabotaged myself by 
being slow in the morning. So so I self-sabotage myself and then feel guilty because I didn't get a good quick start. And, and I think, well, how am I going to be productive? How am I going to make any money? How am I going to do this or that? But I think one, so I have a personal responsibility to discipline. You can tell the ground is dry. I have a personal responsibility to discipline and get up and get started. But also, if you're learning to live slow, you realize that you've got to gauge your productivity oh, whew, mercy, and the value of what you're doing differently. I'm trying to value time. I'm trying to value experience. And when I'm just rushed, rushed, rushed and feel guilty, um, then I, you know, I steal away the, I steal away the quality of that value. I mean, if I want to enjoy this, then I got to come out and enjoy this. I got to come out and enjoy moving the cows and it's going to take a certain amount of time. So the discipline aspect is I got to get up and get moving because I feel like that puts me in a position of guilt. So I, I, I got to clean up my mornings and get myself started. And then I'll probably feel better about myself overall. Because what happens is, is you get up, you start moving slow, uh, you lollygag around, you don't get productive, and then you get in this mindset, is, I'm way behind, I'm way behind. Way behind on what? You know, you chose to take that time to do those things. You chose to, you know, watch videos or whatever you're doing taking forever to put your shoes on reading your books or whatever you're doing you chose to do those things so that's one choice that you've made if this if this is going to be the priority then this needs to be the priority let's let's make this the priority get up get moving you know justin Rhodes. i think they try to put their family to bed at nine o'clock nine o'clock just lights out that's what they say in the videos um That'd be ideal. I don't know that I'm ever, I'm not trained to be a 9.30 lights out guy. That'd be kind of nice. I talked to a friend of mine. He tries to go to bed at 9 o'clock also. That would be ideal. And they start, you know, they, they try to get outside and get moving by 6. I'm not saying everybody has to live like that. Not everybody has to have that same conviction of getting up and getting started at 6. I think I would like that. I think I would enjoy the experience of you know, the birds waking up at that time and everything, but I got to discipline myself to go to sleep and I got to discipline myself to get up and get started. I think I would enjoy the value in those things and rearranging my day and doing some of these other things in the afternoon. I have a tremendous amount of stress on, you know, making sure I'm providing an income, making sure that I'm uh, being supportive in the family in some way. So, gauging all those things out I'm weighing those things out against you know feeling guilty stressing myself out getting crazy because you quickly get in a bad mood I don't want to be in a bad mood but if you get up and you just don't get the start that you think I think probably there's some biblical concepts in there um I just think that me getting up late, I didn't get up late, but me getting started late uh, kind of makes me feel like I'm behind and I'm not going to accomplish the things that I have set out for the day. So I need to, I need to develop a, a system, I need to develop a plan that gets me going that product you know that makes me productive the way that I need to feel productive what is going to be my money making enterprise for the day what what chores need to be done um, how many things can I accomplish in a day I got to develop that plan and I probably need to develop that plan 
in the p.m. the night before. I typically do it in the morning, but uh, maybe I need to develop that plan in the afternoon. In the afternoon, the p.m., the afternoon, and the night before. Say, okay, what needs to be done? What, what am I going to accomplish today? And part of this is really about lifestyle. Can my family adapt to this lifestyle? I mean, we've lived this way. We've lived, it's not like we've come from the city. And I mean, we've had this property and we've done these things for a long time, but we've never really actively participated in a lifestyle. If we raise animals, they require our attention. You can't be involved in every social activity that there is. You can't be busy all the time. Somebody has to be available to do what needs to be done here in the morning and or the evening. If we start up a greenhouse, that takes that takes requirements from somebody. So there needs to be a schedule. So if you need to divide up the time, then you know somebody's responsible for morning, somebody's responsible for afternoon. It's a lifestyle thing. So partly that is that's uh, a little frustrating in itself is just trying to adapt your lifestyle to a different way of living and it's not a for us it's not a major change except that we're so busy especially during the school year with social activity and we're not super involved not like a lot of people but we're involved enough that that uh we're involved enough that it it takes away from what we're trying to do here this lifestyle has to be, you know, outside of family responsibilities and church responsibilities and things like that. Outside of those things, this this lifestyle, this farming lifestyle, this homesteading lifestyle has to be number one. You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna can stuff, if you're gonna put stuff away, if you're gonna can stuff and put stuff away, then it has to be a, a lifestyle decision to say, we're going to plant the stuff, we're going to grow the stuff, and we're going to be responsible and put, put the things up for the winter. I mean, we raise the chickens. So that's, that's really, uh, sometimes it doesn't look like it, but that's really the thing we're the best at currently. We know that we have to provide for the chicks when they're little. We have to provide heat. We have to provide shelter. We get them out in the chicken tractors and we just use little rough chicken tractors to get these things going. And, and um, we know that they've got to be cared for. They've got to be moved. They've got to have a certain level of responsibility. And then we take and process them. We put them in shrink bags. We, we freeze them, you know, get them to the customers. However, we're, we're pretty good at that. But we haven't planted a garden in years. So our high tunnels and greenhouses are in disrepair. Well, here it is, first week of June in our area. We should be planted. We should be planted by now. But the effort to clean the greenhouses then is a pretty big chore. Trying to rush, rush, rush and get it done because you're behind the eight ball. Got to get ahead so you don't feel that guilt. That's what really crushes motivation. <laughs> 